Hello, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 15 with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, well, cracking straight on. Um, got lots to do. So let's get these fields bailed. So we're going to go field 30, uh, northwest. Oh. Um, east. I'll make sure I get this same as how I set up the combine. So twice round after we've done the field, hopefully. That'll work. I've got it the same uh, width of the header, 9.6 metres. <coughs> so fingers crossed, that first one. Should be bang on the money, that should turn that. Yep, that's got to straw. Cool, like right, that's running. Uh, we've got still got the sugar beet running. So, all we need to do now is pick up some of this silage. We've got quite a few bales there, actually, I'm quite impressed. Nice um, glass area here. It's quite tidy. It's lucky. I mean, I could set up this with cause play, to be honest. The only problem with using this with cause play is when it offloads, you have to move the bowels before the next load comes back. Uh, and that can be a little bit stressful if they fall over. Two more. Okay. Too worried about the replacement of these, which we're going to get through them quite quickly. Okay. So I'm putting them at the edge, um, just so I can get them with the front loader grab easier easier is that a word I don't know it's <coughs> quite a lot of work involved with these uh, bales Type, can't, type uh, quite time consuming. Can't talk this morning. Okay, here we go. Another load. So we set four more left. Somewhere there should do.
Okay, and we're done with that for now. Probably do it all again tomorrow. <coughs> what I might do is get a um, uh, a forage wagon, so uh, I can just put it in the in the clamp there, and that'd be easy to automate then. Especially as we get more and more cows. Brilliant, that'll do. So we just go and drop this over here and then go and get the um, change over for the square bale loader trailer. And then you go and get a stack of them. weight on this trailer, you can feel it. <coughs> Alright, I'll uh, I think I'll just pause it here and once we get up to the farm, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Oh, it. We're going to have quite a lot of bales, I think. <laughs> Got them all. Good, that lasts us a long time. We need quite a lot for the uh, littering down and for the food. can carry quite a few. We're going to get most of them. She's still got the other field to do. Yeah, surprising, isn't it, how many you can pick up with this trailer? I'll just uh, head back down to the dairy and uh, I'll be back once we get down there. Okay, welcome back. Well, I think we've got the three ingredients we need now. Let's put these right in this corner. did actually just have to go and get the spike there for the uh, teddy handler because that was still at the farm shop there we 
we go. Alright, so where are we going to put this blooming um, feed mixer thing? So the T9's finished, I'll move that in a minute. Um, so I'm thinking here somewhere. Uh, so we've got good access to our food, or uh, raw ingredients, you know, like the bales and whatnot. Um, it's not too far away from the dairy. Um, so what I'm thinking is put it here and have the spout come out, then I can leave the trailer here, so it'd be sort of like a, a do like a loop, so I can drive in and drive out. So let's uh, let's see if we can buy it and have a look at placeables. Right. So what I'm thinking is having it here. Um, so yeah, that spout can move around, you see. So I have the spout coming towards us. So we can just leave the trailer there. Um, probably cut that tree down. Maybe we could bring it over a little bit. Bring it over here so we've got enough room. Let's have a look. Where else could we put it? I suppose we could put it here. No. So I don't really want grass in the... It's a bit silly if it's not on the flat. Maybe I'm just being a bit fussy. I mean, I know you could put it here and have to spout over the feeder, but then you've got to cart all the bales in there. I think I'll put it here. It'll be fine. So we cut that tree down. I know I need to buy a trailer. Oh, I've got a mod, I'll show you that in a second. So if we put it there. There we go. Yeah, cut that tree down in a minute. Because so what we can do, we can rotate this round, you see, like that. I don't think we need to put the spout out, so we can just put the trailer there. Right, so let's let's stick some stuff in it. And see what happens. So the way it works, basically, you've got three hoppers. You've got um, grass in the middle, or hay, straw, and silage. And you get different lights depending on um, uh, how the machine's working, and it mixes in the back here. So let's just grab these. So I don't know if these um, rat bales are going to work on it, to be honest. I only saw one video and he didn't actually try rat bales, so... Fingers crossed. So all you do, really, is drive up, stick it in, just like that. Just get this one. So what it means is you can um, bulk up your mix ration. So rather than just doing like five bales at a time in the mix wagon, you know you can just fill these up, and you get quite a lot more. They're lined up somewhere there. These spikes will work on the. We can pick up two of these at a time. I see why not. We used to be able to. In real life. No, it's not gonna have it, is it? 
again it's just um I do just want to make sure this works. I know it's a little bit of faffing about um changing over to this. We're just putting like half a dozen at a time. I mean you can like I say you can back trailers up. So if you get the forage rack and full of grass you can just back it up in there and empty the whole lot. That works fine then that's probably how we end up doing it. So I think it takes grass as well as uh, hay. Yep, look at that. So now we're actually making some mixed rations. We come down to the control panel. Uh, as you can see, we've got 4,000 uh, silage, 1,200 hay, and 800, or 8,000, uh, 12,000 hay, isn't it? 8,000 uh, silage, glass, whatever. There we go. And that's actually putting the mixed stuff in there, and that'll all get mixed together, you see. And of course that. And you can see on the spouts how much is in there. Cool. Right, so let's uh, I'll just spend five minutes putting some bits in. And then we'll see about getting a trailer. take long like that is it must be windy they're moving about So that's what, I don't know how many bows we put in there actually. It's about half full anyway, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to spend five minutes uh, filling this up. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you by making you watch me. So I'll be right back. Right, so we've um, <coughs> demolished most of them bows. And we're pretty much very nearly at the top of each one. So they're all about full. Uh, 1500 mixed rations, 1%. So, as far as I know, that they use them in the proper quant uh, quantities, so that it will always use less straw than um, grass and silage. So, of course, what we need to do now, we just need to put a bit of straw. Uh, for bedding. Yeah, so the good thing about using bales is you can have a stock. If you use um, uh, on the forage uh, loading wagons here, it's like you, you can go and get a trailer load, come back, dump it in here, you know, it fills up. But then you can't really sort of build up a stock. See, now they're all full. And I can keep adding here, so then when that empties, I've only got to come here and I can just top it up. Um, so although it's easier with a uh, loading wagon, you know, is it better long term? 
Yeah, probably, but um, you know, farmers do use bales for a reason because because oh, they, you know, they're quite a good. Uh, Yeah, they're quite good for long-term storage. You know, to last you through the winter. So although we don't necessarily need this wagon now for food, it still is better than the other one for uh, straw. So we'll keep keep it and use it. So that's that's one load of straw done. So we've got plenty more left to do. There we go. Right, let's go and stick that. That's nearly four anyway. So it's four barrels. So again, I mean, you could get the um, loading wagon with straw and dump it in here, but. I think there are some mods actually where you can get barns that you can put it in. So that might be something we look at eventually. Also want to show you how much sugar we've got from two fields. We've got 227 tonne and only 187 tonne of wheat. So it just goes to show if you had um, all our fields we'd have loads and loads of sugar. Let's just go and move this out quickly. Field 25. South-east. North. If we keep it the same. Fingers crossed. It's nearly done now. Getting across. Right, so very quickly, what we need to do now is get this mix of ash fashions out of here and into our cows. Uh, as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit. Very slowly. Uh, I forget how much we get, I think it's something, something silly, but by the time you go overnight, I mean that before. We haven't got a plant at the bit, let's just turn up, speed up time a little bit. As you can see, you know, it's like 20 a minute or something. Or 100 a minute, uh, mixed rations, makes. Right, so I downloaded a um, uh, trailer, which has been converted to take uh, feeding livestock mixed rations for £20,000. Uh, so I'm just going to get a loan. For twenty-five thousand, just so we got a little bit in the bank, because we've got some seed and that to put down. So if we buy that, okay. So I'm just going to um, go and get that from the farm shop, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So very uh, nice of the modder to put a red strip around it, so we know which is which. We've got a couple of these already, uh, but this will literally just stay here and do this. It won't do anything else. Part that there, and that will just stay there, even though it won't fill up. Um, this is the way the game's designed. Yeah, so that's got 166 in there. That, that needs to sort of re-trigger it. That won't fill the trailer up. You know, it sort of needs to come to the trigger point. So we're just going empty this. Just sort of poor cows. You know, they must be skin and bones by now. Tip this in. There we go. So we ordered it 10% because it was at 5%. Uh, just added in the straw, increase their productivity a little bit. This will put them right up now. I mean, that little amount will probably only last us uh, an hour in game. So, 
Yeah, so we're just going to have to let that run really. And then um, kind of just maintain it, just crack on. So I'll just leave this here. Gonna go and get the chipper at some point and cut these trees down. There we go, that can just stay there, and that's like a nice little tidy unit there. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, that's nearly done. Right, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time collecting them bales and bringing them back down to the farm. Which is just about done. I might swap tractors around and put the uh, Lambo on this. Oh no, I still need a tractor for the... Um, yeah. I want to get some cultivation and seeding done. I think I might just get these bales done with this tractor first. This going's empty, and that's, well that's just about done anyway. So maybe I'll use the, um, the jutes on the baler for this field up here. Right, okay. Um, yeah, there's one more run, just down again, that's done. Right, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy yourself, please hit the subscribe and like buttons, as it really helps the channel grow, uh, the more people I get to watch videos I make. So I'll see you soon. Take care.